Imam Ali alayhi salam. Asadullah Haydar al Qarar, Amir al Mu'minin, and a genius mathematician, our Imam Ali alayhi salam. Let me tell you a short story that perfectly describes Imam Ali alayhi salam's brilliance in mathematics. Zar bin Hobesh relates this story. Two men traveling on a journey sat down to have a meal. One had five loaves of bread, the other had three. A third traveler was passing by and at request of the two joined the meal. The travelers cut their loaves of bread in three equal parts. Each person ate eight equal broken pieces of the loaf. When parting ways, the third traveler, that is the guest, gave eight dirhams to the two men who had offered him the meal and went away. On receiving the money, the two travelers started arguing as to who should have how much of the money. The first man, who had five loaves of bread, demanded five dirhams. The second man, who had three loaves, insisted on dividing the money into two equal parts. The dispute was brought to Imam Ali alayhi salam for the matter to be decided. Imam Ali alayhi salam asked the man who had three loaves to accept the three dirhams. However, the man refused and said that he would only take four dirhams since he wanted the money to be divided equally. And so, Imam Ali therefore replied, you can only have one dirham. Here's a summary of how it came to just one dirham for the second traveler. The two men had eight loaves between themselves, five plus three. Each loaf was broken in three parts. Therefore, eight times three equals 24 equal parts. The three loaves of the second traveler made nine parts, three loaves times three parts each, out of which he ate eight portions of his own bread, leaving just one for the third traveler and nothing for the first traveler. The first traveler had five loaves, which multiplied by three made 15 pieces. He ate eight pieces of his own bread, nothing from the bread pieces of the second traveler, and gave seven pieces of his own bread to the guest. As such, the guest shared one piece of bread from the second traveler and seven from the first. So, the second traveler should receive one dirham, since he only gave up one piece of his own bread, and the first traveler should receive seven dirhams. Hope you enjoyed this short story. Stay tuned and subscribe for more Quran and Ahlul Bayt inspirational videos. Stay strong and stay positive.